Right, having understood simple interest, let's now get into the basics of compound interest, and then we're gonna spend a lot of time working with things like future value, present value, annuities, and annuities with future value and present values as well. So here you can read up on page 156 of the study guide, but I'm gonna jump straight to example 10.2 on page 160, 161. So, consider the same interest information for the simple interest calculation you did in 10.1, but now the interest is 10% per year compounded annually. You're required to determine the value of your mother's investments at the end of the three year period. So here we were told, here's 2,000 Rand, if your mother was going to invest it for two, sorry, three years at 10% per year compounded annually, what would the future value be? And the easiest way here would be year one, we'd have 2,000 times 10% gives us 200 rands worth of interest. Add that to the opening balance, 2,000 plus 200 gives me 2,200. Now normally for simple interest, you would go back and start with 2,000 times 10% for the next year, right? But it's different with compounded interest. With compounded interest, I'll take 2,200 and take that as my new principal amount. So I'm going to charge interest on the principal and the interest that's already been charged in the past. So 2,200 times 10% gives me interest of 220 this time, which leaves me with a closing balance of 2,420, which is the 2,200 plus the 220 gives me 2,420. And once again, I capitalize the interest and now I'm on 2,420 earning interest on interest on interest times 10% gives me 242. So you've heard the words power of compounding, but look in three years, I've gone from earning 200 to 220 to 242 Rand of interest. And I land up with a future value of 2,662. Now we're going to go and deal with um, future value calculations in a minute, but let's just understand what's happened here. If I had a timeline and I've got 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, I started off with 2000, right? I had interest of 200. So that was times 10%. Okay, let's just actually go back. We know how to get the calculation, right? So it was 2,000 plus the interest of 2,000 times 10%. So that was 200. So at the end now I've got 2,200. For the next calculation, I'm gonna take 2,200 plus 2,200 times 10% gives me 220. You'll see it's the exact same figure we did here, 220, which gives me at the end of year two, 2,420. And the third one would be the 2,420 plus 2,420 times 10% gives me the interest. And that is 242. Which takes me to a total Apologies, takes me to the total of 2662. So what I've done is every year I've gone capital plus interest, capital plus interest on interest, and capital plus interest on interest on interest. And I get my future value of 2662, and I have my present value of 2000. Okay, so that's the concept. We're going from present value to future value. And what this indicates is that 2,000 Rand today, if the interest rate is 10%, is worth 2,662 Rand in three years' time, and I've compounded to get that calculation right. We're now going to move into a much more detailed discussion about future values and present values. Thank you.